back to another video, Ben with Revive Body Work and Personal Training. And today I'm going to take you through a short sort of reset for the lower body. So we're going to start with some hip cars. And the idea with this is we're just going to open up the range of motion, try to get all of the available space that we currently have sort of turned on in the brain. So we're going to start in a quadruped position. So I like to set up just in a, a collapsed kneel here, hands out in front, spine up nice and up. Up, nice and tall. Gonna lock in this midsection with a nice tight breath. Squeeze that tension. I'm gonna find the floor. Move my knees back a little bit so they're right underneath my hips. And then I'm gonna start with my right leg. So I'm gonna bring my knee forward. Knee and ankle come up to the side. Bring my hip all the way back and around. Drawing a circle with my knee. And then come down. I'm gonna come all the way through. Out to the side. And I'm building in intensity as I go through this. So these first two, first three, 30 to 50% effort. And now I'm gonna really try to squeeze into those corners, challenge my workspace here, challenge my midline to keep from shifting at all. I don't wanna to lean to the side. I don't wanna let my back arch. I wanna keep that midline nice and strong. So I'm gonna finish rep number five, and then I'm gonna reverse and go the other way. Up and around and through. And again, just these first two or three reps, 30 to 50% effort, taking the heel up, keeping it squeezed towards my glute, turn my knee out, bring it around, down and in, so one more. Straight up and around. Down and then I'm going to switch sides. Again, set up nice and tall, find the floor, and then here we go. Bring the knee forward, up to the side, up and around, trying to round out those corners. You don't want it to be sharp edges, but trying to transition into the next direction of movement with nothing else moving on the body. So finishing rep three, last two reps, really stabilize that midline, knee out, reach the heel up and back, pull down, last one this direction, all the way up and around, bring it down and reverse heel up. Turn the knee out, around and through, back up again, turn the knee out, bring it as far up as I can, down and in, up and out, knee around, keep the ankle high, two to go, heel up, turn the knee out, bring it in and down, and last rep here. Okay, from here we're gonna go into some single leg figure four liftoffs. So from here, if you have a yoga block or a tennis ball, those are just a nice little prop to have to give yourself a target to work with. So for this, if I set up over here, I'm gonna have this block on the outside of my ankle, could very easily be the ball right there as well, okay? So, I'm gonna pull my non-working foot in, and then I'm gonna get up nice and tall through my midline, keep my shoulders in the same place. So as I lift my leg, I wanna try to not lean back, okay? I wanna use my hands, push into the floor to keep me nice and stable. So I'm gonna go up and over five times, nice and slow. I want to try to keep this knee locked out the whole time. Here we go. Big breath in. Squeeze tension into the whole leg. Lift. Up and over. Take it down. And back up. And that's one. Touch it down. Take it over. Touch it down. Back up. There's two. The whole time I'm fighting to keep my knee totally straight and locked out. And 
I'm trying to make the movement come from my hip crease right here. Last one. And switch sides, do the same thing. Up nice and tall, got my block right out on the inside of the ankle. Big breath in, get tight through the midline. Here we go, and lift up and over, take it down with control, straight back up and down. Knee stays locked out the whole time. Focus on moving deliberately and intentionally. Force yourself to go slow. Speed is going to hide those areas where your body is not comfortable and so it races through that range of motion to find stability on the other side. We want to try to build up that stability all the way through the joint. And really it's not as much stability as just our brain having a good accurate uh, idea of what to tell our body. Okay, our next movement is going to be also with a yoga block um, or something similar size and utility. It's called a quadruped abduction liftoff. So I'm going to set my block. If I'm set up in a kneeling position, I'm going to set the block right in line with my back foot a couple feet away from me. And I might need to move that block a little bit forward depending on what my active range is and where I can currently move, but we can adjust that as we go. So we'll set up same quadruped position and then I'm going to take my working leg, I'm gonna go straight back, and then I'm gonna bring it up and over my target to make sure that I can actually get there without my body leaning or doing something really funny. So going back the other way, breathe in, get tight, come up and over, and touch down. So that's how I would set that up to make sure that I am in the right position uh, for my range of motion and you want to adjust that accordingly to where you're at as well. You should be able to get your leg up and over with no rotation of the hips. So as you come up and over, it shouldn't be this and it shouldn't be this. All right. So once you're set, you're going to go for five reps up and over. Here we go. Big breath in, squeeze tension and lift, bring it forward, set it down and right back the whole time again. Trying to really focus on keeping that knee totally straight. Trying to keep both hands pressed into the ground, nice and firm, so that we don't let the body or knock over our block, rock from side to side. Last one up and over, and set down. Good. Switch to the opposite setup. Do my quick check here, foot back, leg out, and over, and back, good. Reset here, and now I'm ready for my set. Big breath in, set that leg, squeeze the whole body nice and tight, and here we go, lift, up and over, and come back. And if this block is too low, then I would want to raise it up and go a little bit higher, probably something more like this for my last couple of reps and really challenge the ability of my hips to get all the way up and over that target. All right. Next one that we're going to go through is called the star squat. Um, and before that, I actually like to kind of prep the star squat with a little bit of single leg sort of pelvic stability and, and balance work. So for this one, we're going to stand up. We're going to start with our feet right underneath us. And if you have your yoga block or something, even the tennis ball would work that we could squeeze between the knees, it just helps us feel those inner thigh muscles, those adductors, as we push the block together. And we can even feel our knees kind of turn forward a little bit as that helps with internal rotation and kind of brings the, the knees facing forward here. So as I squeeze, I can feel my feet kind of grab the ground a little bit and I can turn my knees out 
to the point where I almost feel myself roll up onto the outside of my feet. And I want to try to keep my feet flat, which is why I want to keep my knees facing forward. All right, so a little cue there to help us create that stability by turning the knees forward, getting the adductors turned on, and that will help with our single leg balance. So now from here, I'm gonna widen my feet just a little bit, maybe something about there. And then I'm gonna place both hands on my hips with the goal of feeling no movement to the side as I pick one leg up. So I'm gonna squeeze my glutes, squeeze my legs. I'm gonna pull my belly button in towards my spine, get tall through my torso. And then I'm gonna tighten everything around that position. And then as I slowly unweight one leg, had a little bit of a shift there to my right, but now from here, we start with those feet together and come right up. And there's hardly, if any, shift this way. And I can pick this leg up, put it in front of me, and back down. And so what we want is to not see this thing happen where all of my weight comes over over this leg. I want to try to keep my weight right where it is, use this leg and my midline to hold that position, and then be able to lift my foot up, put it right back down, lift up, and put it right back down. And this can be a tough drill. It can take a little while for you to get the sort of communication from your brain to this part of your body to rotate that knee forward by rotating the hip to uh, get all of that midline musculature active and turned on and talking to the leg and the pelvis. So take your time with it. Focus on minimal movement of that shift, okay? From here, we can go into our star squat once we kind of have that uh, little building block in place there. The star squat is just a five point squat. So I'm gonna think about keeping that pelvis level. I'm gonna bend and reach as far forward as I can, hopefully not losing my balance. Touch my foot in front of me and then come back up. That was a terrible first rep, so we'll try again. And then we're gonna go 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 135, and then straight back. Okay, so you don't have to have hands on the hips. If you feel like that helps you notice if there's any drifting out to the side, you can do that. I just kinda like to have my hands right in front here. So here we go. Star squat coming forward, touch down, and come back. Again, try not to shift out to the side. Now I go out here and come back, out to the side, and come back, 45 behind, and come back, and straight behind, and come back. I'm a little bit restricted because of that wall. So now I'd go the opposite direction. So I'd go back first, reach out to the side, reach, I wanna get as low as I can without letting my hips shift and without leaning my torso forward, last two, touch, and come back, touch, and come back. Now I'm gonna go the other side, first rep, nice and slow, touch, 45 degrees, touch, out to the side, 90, and touch, straight, or excuse me, 45 degrees back and touch, and straight back and touch. And I go straight back again, and come back, back 45 and come back out to the side and come back front 45 and come back and straight in front and come back. So give those exercises a try. It's a great sort of lower body reset. Also we'll really focus on sort of those lateral muscles of the hip as well as some inner thigh work for that balance and stability. Hope that helps. Let me know in the comments.